Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know I was going down a list and we're at the third part, which it says you need software apps to create your African folk tales. And I told you, and I will show you the apps or the computer software that I use to create any African folk tale. It doesn't have to be African folk tales. It can be any tale. It can be American tales any type of tales you want to create, but African folk tales is popping on YouTube. So I guess a lot of people is interested in learning, but the stories do be grand. I will admit that they do be grand. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down. And once again, these are the softwares that I use. Everybody use things that might be a little different. Everybody don't use exactly the same softwares and apps. I mean, the majority of us are using very similar apps and softwares, but you know, it's so many different apps and it's so many different uh, softwares, but what the most of us are using to generate these storytelling, uh, folk tell stories is basically we're using chat GPT for Dolly three with the consistent characters. Sorry, I had it spelled wrong. So I fixed the spelling of consistent. And, you know, we're using Leonardo AI, we're using Canva, we're using the DID app. Um, I use a free voiceover audio, which is Audacity. I also use Create Studio 3 for some of the voices, which are amazing on that. And I'm also using captions words that go across the screen for your storytelling, for your African tales or your American tales, whatever. Okay. So let me show you the first thing on the list that I use is power director. Okay. So I'm going to go into my power director. This is power director. Okay. Now I don't know the price of it. Maybe we can go to the website and you can see it is not free. And I know that a lot of you prefer something that is free. You can easily look this up. What I'll do is I'll leave the link in the box below of this video. And if you're interested, you can go and check it out to see if you want to buy. You don't have to use Power Director. That's just what I use. You can probably find free softwares. There are so many um, African people on YouTube who are creating and showing you how to create African folk tales, and they give you everything. And a lot of them have a lot of free stuff. Now, I don't know how long this free stuff lasts, but they do. So you might want to check them out it's all over youtube you can't miss it just type in how to create african folk tales and it's going to be a list of people okay it's more and more people showing how to do this okay so i will leave links in the box below of the video okay let's go back to it so that's power director 16 that i use now chat gpt4 dolly 3 consistent characters let's go to it okay <laughs> This is my chat GPT. This is something that I'm working on. So you see a lot of, you know, females here. I'm working on something else, but this is chat GPT. And these are all the images that I actually uh, generate. I can generate an image for you right now. So we will do that. Excuse me. So let's just say you're looking for let's say a female right i'm gonna go with a female however you want her to be um if you're looking for let's just say for your Afri african folk tales you're looking for a beautiful african woman so you can say create sorry i can't see these uh, i i wear glasses and i can't see well so you can say create a beautiful dark skin African, oops, af, <laughs> freaking woman. Okay. Let's just say she has short, because I'm always using long hair. Short, uh, let's see, short brown hair, right? She wears a big gold hoop earrings right uh she wears 
a beautiful African kente dress, right? Which I love that print. It is so beautiful. So she wears a beautiful African kente dress. Um, let's see what else can I say? Sometimes you have to tell the AI the skin tone. So I'm going to say create her skin tone brown. Okay. Now, if you want to give her a backdrop, like maybe where she could be, let's just say she is walking through the African village. Right? So I completed that. So I just put a dot at the end or period at the end. And I'm going to say wide image because I want that 16.9. So let's click on it and see what type of image we get. And believe it or not, guys, these type of videos, they do be long because it's a lot to show. So they do be long. So if you're willing to watch and learn, this is how you're going to learn. So John create the image and then I'm going to jump to the next software. So, you know, this is chat GPT four and I'm using Dolly three. Okay. So it says create an image. You see it's going, sometimes it moves a little slow because remember a lot of other people is using this software. Okay. Or this app, they are using it. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Okay. So here she goes. Let's open it up and let's see her photo. She's beautiful. Okay. So I think that's a gorgeous image and it gave me exactly what I wanted. So that's what I like about, uh, chat GP, uh, chat GPT Dolly three. That is what I love about prompt and images with them. They usually do a really great job. So she's a gorgeous looking African woman. I love her hair is so becoming of, I would love to rock my hair like that, but I can't, I'll talk about that in another um, story, another video. Okay. So let's see the next photo and look at that. And I'm definitely going to download these cause I want to keep these photos now or images now as you can see the reason why i say wide image at the end because it's giving me the ratio of 16.9 right sometimes if you don't tell the ai the size of the image sometimes they'll give you a square image okay or sometimes they even like uh, an image like 9 by 16 like for TikTok or, or a shorts okay so that's one way so let's take this same prompt and let's put it into Microsoft Bing, right? Or Microsoft Copilot. So let's copy it, right? And I'm gonna go to Microsoft Bing, which as you can see, I was working on something, right? So let's close this out and let's put that prompt in Microsoft Copilot. So let's paste it and then let's hit create and let's see what we get. Okay, so you gotta be a little patient. I just wanna show you. And I think maybe most of you guys probably already got the hang of this a little bit. I'm still learning myself now. I need to learn how to prompt. So this is what the Microsoft Copilot gave and look at the images, which she's studying. She's a st she looks she looks like my cousin. She does. She's beautiful. Okay, and I definitely would download it. And I see the next image stunning. The next image stunning. They're all stunning. And one thing I will say, beautiful. These are stunning. Uh, my, I mean, Microsoft Copilot does their thing. Okay. So that is another way you can generate images. You know, it's all about your prompts. Let's go to, let's see what Leonardo um ai will give us let's see how they will prompt images okay no it's telling me what's new not interested right now let's just get to the video all right so i'm going to come out of this and when you're prompting images for leonardo ai make sure you have your settings right so it's at 3.2 i want 16.9 so click that drop down arrow click it Click on 16.9 and there you go. And um, I guess you can lock it. I do hit the lock, but it doesn't stay all the time. 
So obviously I was doing something here. Okay. So let's just, let's put that prompt in and let's see what they give us. All right. So let's click on it right quick, paste, and then I'm going to generate. Um, so here the features is Leonardo Lightning XL dynamic. Um, I know sometimes people click on the add negative prompts. Like if you don't want their hands to look distorted or their eyes, I don't use it that much, but you can. So let's generate and let's see what images they give us of this beautiful African woman. Okay. Let's click it and let's see. I only use two images. I clicks on two because it's taking away 10 tokens. And as you can see, I have 7,854 tokens. Okay, so this is what Leonardo AI gave us. Let's see. That's why. I mean, it's still good. I still like it. Um, and what I like, they already let you set it at 16.9. And here's another one. So these are actually beautiful too. And they're clear. I notice sometimes I come down here to use the Alchemy Crisp upscale because it's supposed to make the picture look even more sharp but i don't even feel like it needs it it looks extremely sharp already okay so that is one way um you can generate images so i do use those three i'm sorry i do use those three sites when i am generating images which it says here so now we're in number four right which is it i showed you you can use microsoft palette you can use dolly 3 or you can use leonardo ai so let's move along i said i was going to do these videos one by one um depending on how long this video is let's see is that 12 minutes that's not too bad i think i'm gonna stop i think i'm gonna stop it here so as you can see this is how i generated those images using a microsoft palette dolly 3 and Leonardo AI. So I'm going to stop it here because I don't want the videos to be too long. So stay tuned for number five because I actually did three and four in this video. So stay tuned for number five. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave links below and um, I will leave links in the box below for anything that you might want to learn about. I'll link some stuff. Okay. But I appreciate you watching and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.